Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. What do I got right here? I got an SP200 Blue Eddy solar panel. Portable and very nice panel. We're going to go over it a little bit, go over some of the features of it and um, see how it works. Talk about the things we like, talk about the things we don't like. So basically, we'll just give you a walk through here of what we got. Got a zippered pocket that carries our cables. It's got MC4 connectors. Now this panel will work with the majority of all Blue Eddy products. You got the AC200P, EB70, EB150, EB240. It'll also work with the little AC30. Um, we'll work with the um, AC50 as well. I don't have one of those, but I'm just going over the ones that I have. And uh, we'll just talk about some of the stats, and I'm not going to try to memorize them all. I'm just going to tell them to you, so bear with me here. It's a 200 watt panel, obviously. It is a 20 volt max. The open circuit voltage is uh, 24 volts, and the short circuit current is 11 amps. So when I say you can use this with the AC30 and the EB70, they do have an amperage limit on the, um, especially the EB70, but they'll take in a, up to 150 watts as long as you don't go over the voltage. And the 24 volts is not over for the AC30 or the EB70, so you can use this with those panels. I've tried it on both of them and it works great. Now you're never gonna get 200 watts into them because the MPP T charge controller will will limit the current and limit the watts to 150. So um, you can over panel those two machines with this panel though. So it does work great. Um, I didn't know if it had, it's about 14.3 pounds. Now I've not weighed that. I'm just gonna take them at their word for that. It is lightweight, it's not heavy. Um, it's easy to move around. And I, I love the zippered pocket. The cables are long enough, but you know, you can make you some extension cables if you want to, um, if you're boondocking, if you're camping, because um, you want to keep your solar generators, portable power stations, whichever you want to call them, out of the sun. So um, the cord with, just for example, the EB70 and these, still, I've added, I added some extension cables to mine so I could keep mine out of the sun because you don't want these power stations um, just getting beat on with the sun. It's not good for the batteries. This does have kickstands. It has one on each of the four panels. It, it, each panel is, is 50 watts for a total of 200 watts. They got nice uh, banding on the, on the panels. They're Velcroed so they stay in place very nice. Got a very nice carrying handle. It's a uh, heavy duty. It's kind of like, it's, it's, it's like rubber, but it's more like hard plastic. The canvas is made very well. And, and overall, it's a, it's a very well built panel. So, um, we do like it. Now, the way you open it up, basically, you just have two releases right there. And you just sit here and it will fold out just like that. It's in half and then opens up. So there's your four different panels and it has ETFE laminate on the sun power cells. Now they say these are the best um, cells out there. I've taken them at their word for it. I've used this, like I said, on the EB70, the AC30 and the, and the EB150 and it works great. Um, and we'll show you um, me using it on the EB150 here in a little bit but basically easy to fold back up basically just fold it in half again tuck this little thing in and attach your straps they click in very nice so there you have nice little panel where like I said we're going to show you some of the things that it's working on I've used it extensively I like it tell me what you think if you have any questions or comments about this panel if you've used it let me know how it's worked for you too in the comments down below 
Um, and again, I'll just take this opportunity too. If you like what we're doing here, like and subscribe. Um, well, I appreciate your viewership. I appreciate you taking an interest in the channel. And uh, I'm just an everyday guy. Um, don't know everything. I'm learning a lot about solar. And I just want to pass on what I've been learning. And if it's helpful to you, I, I hope it is. So um, we're going to go outside here and, and show you how this panel works. These are the Blue Eddy SP200s. So each panel would be worth 50, 100, 150, 200. Right now I have it hooked up to the EB150. And just checking in randomly here. Just wanted to show you how this panel is working. Okay, I just want to show the SP200. It's about almost 6 o'clock in the evening. And we're pulling about 130 Four watts is going down a little bit. Sun's going in and out. Got as high as 145 just a second ago. This is the Blue Eddy SP200. If the sun comes back out, I'll try to get another one. Now the SP200 does have ETF lamination on it. And uh, that protects it. You don't want to get the panel wet. I mean, light rain, it's probably not going to hurt it, but if you're out in the rain, I would probably pull it in because uh, it kind of says that in the instructions to to not leave it out in the rain. Um, but it's a great panel for boondocking, camping, that type of thing. Very nice made. These are sun power cells, and that's what the SP is supposedly stands for on the SP200 so not a bad panel when the sun's out we're bouncing around 159 got over 160 there for a second um, do have some spotty clouds so the sun's going in and out of the clouds but uh, that's what we're producing you can see you can see we have it set up out here using the kickstands and we're going to use these two echo worthies here as well and, and kind of give a comparison to see um, how it's putting out compared to this SP200. Now these are two echo worthy panels I got on sale during the 4th of July. I actually got six of them for about $72 a piece. Normally I probably wouldn't have bought them because the regular price is um, right around $98, $99. Um, they're smaller than the rich solar panels as far as uh, surface area, but they're rated for 100 watts and I figured I could take a gamble at $72, $73 a panel. So I got six of them and they're comparing pretty good to the SP200 uh, portable panel. So we're going to use these to power the uh, EB150 once I get them on the roof. Okay, these are the Echo Worthies. Looks like they're comparable. Doing about 155, 154 watts. So they're putting out about as good as the SP200s. We have them hooked in series right here and right now we have full sun so not too shabby now what I'm trying to do is hook the two strings in parallel and see what we get So we got them hooked in parallel right now and you can see we increased our output by about 50 watts. So we've got 400 watts of solar, them two working together, only giving us about 200 watts, about 50 more than them working independently of each other. So we'll keep an eye on that and see if it gets any better, maybe readjust the panels a little bit.
All right, let's do a review of the Blue Eddy SP200 portable solar panel. Let's talk about what we liked about it, what we didn't like about it. Um, one of the things that uh, we like about it, first and foremost, is it's portable. It's lightweight, 14 pounds. It's very easy to throw in the back of a vehicle, very easy if you're camping, boondocking, to plug it into just about any power station if you got the proper adapters. Most of them use MC4. Um, there's some that, like I say, that might need use uh, Anderson power poles, but you can find those adapters and, and hook it up just about to any solar panel, or excuse me, portable power station that is within the recommended voltage and amperage. Um, what else do we like about it? It put out over 150 watts on a very sunny day. I may have been able to get more out of it if I had a played with the panels a little bit more but when I'm using my portable panel I just like to get the best position I'll move it you know throughout the day uh, to track the sun but I'm going to use the kickstands it just is simple and easy and as you saw 150 some watts is is very very good because you're never going to get 200 out of any solar panel that you know whatever it's rated at um one of the other things I liked about it on the day before, when it was late in the evening, we still got about 130 watts out of it. And what you didn't see is I let that run um, for another hour and we were getting, you know, around 70 watts at around 7 p.m. So it, it does really well. It's a very impressive panel. It's built very well. Um, all your cables are right there. I love the zipper pocket because you could put some other things in there if you needed to. But uh, overall, a great panel. Now, what, what what don't we like about the panel? Well, the biggest thing is is the price, because you got a 200 watt solar panel that you're paying 549 dollars for. Now you can get it at a lower price on Amazon and maybe some other locations i just know amazon usually can you know sometimes get it for 499 even sometimes down to 400 but to me even at 400 dollars, it's it's very expensive for what you're getting it's a 200 watt solar panel now i've seen some other portable ones out there that come in at a lot lower price that are probably pretty comparable as to what you're going to get um, this isn't a full service panel this is a panel that you're going to use intermittently when you're camping boondocking in emergency situations because this panel will not withstand you know the abuse of everyday use so you have to keep that in mind you're buying a portable solar panel and you're paying a premium for it and we threw a curveball in there because we also had the two echo worthy panels that uh, i told you that i'd got on sale over the fourth of july and there were two panels, 100 watts each. I connected them in series, and we got the same wattage pretty much that the SP200 got. So, and those were total about $144, $145 for the two panels. And what's the downside on those? They're not portable. Um, you are paying a premium for that, but that is a big dislike is, is the price. Tell me what you think. Um, leave it down in the comments. Anybody that might have this panel, that might be thinking about this panel, any questions. Um, if you do have the panel, tell me if there's anything um, um, that I'm missing on it. Um, just leave it down in the comments and, and I'd appreciate it. And again, before we close, I just ask again that uh, if you like the content that I'm um, bringing, like and subscribe. And again, any questions? leave them down in the comments i thank you again for for your viewership and for you taking the time to watch this video have a good day